Hello. Welcome to this video, in which we will look at how to protect limited supply during order promising, to ensure our most important markets, distribution channels and customers will receive their merchandise. We will start by examining the benefits to be achieved, by using supply protection in S4 HANA Advanced Available to Promise. Improve customer commitments in supply shortage situations, by allocating stock to customers, markets, or distribution channels thereby ensuring supply for critical areas for your business, while maximizing short and long-term order profitability by serving the most important customer and market segments. Before we head on to the system demo, let's look at the concept of supply protection. Supply protection is used when we have a shortage of supply of the articles which we are selling. It works as a virtual demand reservation for a specific material and plant combination. The reservation is set up against characteristics, for example distribution channels such as e-commerce. The available stock will be reduced virtually, for sales orders with different characteristics, from other distribution channels in our example. Within a supply protection object, there can be protection groups of different prioritization, where a group with high priority takes priority over a lower prioritized protection group. This is known as vertical protection. In this demonstration we will see the following happen. We have 10,000 pieces available on stock. In this matrix we see the two dimensions which we are doing supply protection against. We can see 4,000 pieces being protected for the American market, 3,000 pieces for the German market, and 2,000 for the Chinese market. These are horizontal protection, cause they are having equal priority. We can also see that the different channels are also protected. This is vertical protection. This means that web channel has a higher priority than retail, which in turn has a higher priority than direct sales. In our demonstration, we will receive four sales orders, from different countries and different distribution channels. Now, let us look at the system demo. First, we look at the setup of the supply protection scheme for material number MZ, FG, E321. We can see that 9,000 pieces are virtually allocated to the three different markets, United States, Germany, and China. 4,000 for USA, 3,000 for Germany, 2,000 for China. Looking at the planning object for USA, we see the virtual protection of 4,000 pieces. In the core characteristic, we can see that if the customer is from the US, then it will be subject to the supply protection rules. The characteristic which we will check against, is which distribution channel is placing the order. In order of prioritization we see, 11 web channel, 12 retail channel and 10 direct sales channel. When we now create our sales orders, there are three things, which we need to consider. First, all sales orders are run in simulation mode which means that the 1,000 pieces of unrestricted stock will be available in each example. Second, the horizontal protection, represented by the countries, are having the same level of priority. Hence, there will not be a possibility to use stock protected for a different country. Third, the vertical protection, represented by the distribution channels, the channels carry a difference in priority. This means, that web channel may take stock protected for retail or direct channels. This also means, that the retail channel may take stock protected for direct channel. Now we are ready to review the results of our simulations. Let's now simulate four sales orders, to see how much we can provide to our customers, based on our virtual stock protection. We start off with creating a sales order. This first sales order is created from our web channel. Our first customer is a customer from the UK. The requested quantity from this customer is 2000 pieces. With supply protection we confirm 1000 pieces. As we can see, out of the 10,000 pieces which we have available, 9000 are protected for other countries which is the reason why we confirm 1,000 pieces only. Our second sales order is created for our retail channel. This time our customer is based in the United States. This customer is requesting us to deliver 5,000 pieces. Based on our supply protection, we decide that we can confirm 4,500 pieces. As we are selling from the retail channel for United States, 
we can confirm the quantities which are available for retail and direct sales in the country, plus the 1,000 pieces which are available for all customers. Our third sales order is that for the direct sales channel. This time our customer is based in the United States. This customer is requesting us to deliver 4,000 pieces. Based on our supply protection restrictions, we can confirm 3,000 pieces. As we are selling to the direct sales channel for United States, we can confirm the quantities which are available for direct sales in the country, plus the 1,000 pieces which are available for all customers. Our final sales order is again for the web channel. We are now receiving an order from a customer who is based in Germany. This customer requests 5,000 pieces. Based on our supply protection restrictions, we can confirm 4,000 pieces. As the order came from the web channel, which is the highest vertical, it is allowed to consume the quantities of the other two distribution channel. We still have 1,000 pieces which have not been protected, and these can also be included in our customer promise. The functionality shown in this video, regarding advanced available to promise, is available in S4 HANA, both cloud and on-premise versions. Let us complete this video, by repeating the benefits of using supply protection for advanced available to promise. Improve customer commitments in supply shortage situations, by allocating stock to customers, markets, or distribution channels thereby ensuring supply for critical areas for your business, while maximizing short and long-term order profitability by serving the most important customer and market segments. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.